We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. Matt Duffy looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Clay Buckholtz, a right-hander. from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boys, he really turned things around. Remember this guy had a no-hitter early in his career with the Boston Red Sox. Good fastball, not a great fastball. Low 90s, but he'll throw a four-seamer and a two-seamer. His breaking stuff is good. It's not great. He's a pitcher, not a thrower. Off and if he's getting his off-speed pitches over, he has a chance to pitch deep Joey. into this one. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Batting second. The third baseman, number five, Matt. Duffy. Now to the plate, Matt Duffy, already holding the all-time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And this one bounds around against the wall. And the throw in gets away from him. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind up costing him. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Strike one to start the at bat. Line drive to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Man, this guy must be living right. That should have that been an out, but now he's standing at third with a big smile on his face. They're going to rule it an error, and that's a costly one, too. Here now is Mike Zanino. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ranging back is Pilar. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Rays have opened it up even further now. It's four to nothing. Yeah, this guy continues to impress with his bat. He's playing the most demanding position in the game, the position that takes the most out of you mentally and physically, and he's putting up these kind of offensive numbers. Catchers that like that great. are like unicorns. Right Super rare. Eric. In now, Eric Thames. He comes into this one ranked number six in the American League home run race. This guy's right in the prime of his career right now. The power bat speaks for itself. One of the more dangerous hitters in the game of baseball. Four runs here in this half inning. Shot. 
shot toward right center. Pilar patrolling center makes the play one out. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I think the guy to watch is Matt Duffy, the Duff man. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Daniel Robertson. And he comes in having recently tied a once famous mark of 61 home runs for the season. Hit high and deep out to left field. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left home run number 62 on the year and the Rays have opened this up to five nothing. Boy not the way you'd like to start a game right first inning you come in you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. At the plate, Willie Adamas, and he enters play today, currently fifth the in the American shot. League in hitting. Really? What a season Adamas. this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field, and he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the, the second field. out. Kevin. Stepping in, Kevin Kiermeyer. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense, so there's more. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in. scoring five Blake Snell the southpaw out of the state of Washington will be the starter what do we need to know here Danny this guy is one of the most dominant pitchers in the game and how well, dominant got, picked up J. a double digit strikeout total fielder. in his last Get start man. and hopefully he'll oh, bring that oh. A game with him in the ballpark for this one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that I mean maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. With that, let's take a look at the Blue Jays starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, I'm definitely excited to watch Brandon Drury in this one. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's 4 for 11. One out, nobody on. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs, and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pack the mitt. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off the The third baseman, Brandon. First pitch coming, here Rory. it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit.
Kojima and Choi the next to hit. He'll lead things lead off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable Even lead. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hard hit ball to second. There is Travis. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, guys, now time for a look at how the, the Toronto Blue Jays set up on defense Joey. today. And the spotlight today is going to be on Teoscar Hernandez, left fielder. This guy is a great athlete, gets really good jumps on the ball, but people, his calling card's in the batter's box. He can go deep in a hurry. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First pitch of the at bat. Sliced hard down the left field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. The third baseman, number five. Hey, this is what every That's hitting coach teaches when you dumpy. start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than he can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. Into the box now, Matt Duffy. As he'll take a look at a high strike that All time, right. it's nothing in one. Duffy. Often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles. He was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. The left field, number 29. Tommy Fair. Two on here with one man out. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right there for strike one. Well, it'd be hard to argue that he's not the best hitter in the game right now. Aside from the hitting streak, he lays claim to the league's best batting average as well. Matty, I love the hitting streak. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. On in just a sec as this ball is driven into the outfield. This should score one, maybe two. On to third, but he's in safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Oh, that's for Tampa Bay. Yeah, it's everyone good. knows this guy's been Mine. having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a gazelle on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buckles. So he'll depart here tonight and these fans will not be terribly appreciative I don't imagine as he was pretty much dreadful in this one. 